Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the Please Save My Disaster campaign where I'm taking your campaigns, your submissions and trying to do my best to turn them around and then basically send them back. This campaign here is going to be called The Failed Psy Rush and we are in episode number 3. As a quick reminder, we were trying to fight our way back um, into Africa, did our very, very best to connect to South Africa and now have the option to um, invade the Advent Black site here. But the Avatar project is almost done, so we are in a tough spot. Just got our hands on to this um, nice little Guerrilla Ops mission with a special side trip, Location Scout which basically allows you to see all of uh, the targets on the map. Unfortunately, I can assure you that uh, when I played uh, Location Scout, it always meant that there are way more and harder enemies. Mind you, we are in month number four, zero weapon upgrades, zero um, armor upgrades and very, very low level characters. So this is basically um, clicking fast forward uh, for four entire months and then wondering why your troops are not good anymore. Um, of course that's a bit an overstatement. He was playing, but he lost so many troops and he um, tacked so much into the wrong direction that effectively the troops are currently worthless. Even if he would have psionic characters by now, they wouldn't be able to carry uh, the missions. Uh, they simply would So. We got ourselves a Templar, Signal triangulation is locked in the location and I figured we we're going to use the Templar for now. The for the time being, it's a strong Destroy character class and it synergizes well with the rest. The Plus, once we get it to track. reflect, Terminate we can actually um, help ourselves against um, attacks, Destroy although we have so low hit points. Because Move reflect um, always works, Re rather parry, not reflect. So, this is great high ground. Got a triple sector pack here. Ooh, that one looks bad. This is mech plus advanced soldier plus purifier. Oh, the mech is an actual problem. This here is easy, and that's double, um, double sectored plus viper i think we're going to be fine with that as well so the first pack i'm pretty okay with fighting against them thanks to the side trap we can see quite literal um agro radios so we know exactly where we can and where we can not move to get it done on the move So it is decided. As Templar warriors, we know how the Templars work. Thank you. Wielding psionic energy, mastering the power that belongs to all who are truly of this earth. Through intense focus, we can twist the very. So that's a good start. We got ourselves into high ground. Let's see what the en enemy is going to do. This pack here is. Pretty dangerous, we need to be careful. And this pack here moves into our direction as well. The sector here was checking if the relays are still fine. So I think we're going to go with the dead eye shot. Nice, 15 crit. It's a good first start. That's a very good first start. Can't melee take. We can't melee take this guy here. So that's a bit of a bummer. But we certainly can melee take him, which means we only need to injure him. In order to finish him with our with our Templar. Nice, that's going to be a secure kill with the Templar. Alright, 
Oh, I do understand very, very well. Thank you. The strength of the Templars ebbs and flows with the tide of combat. As we focus our energy, our power increases and can be unleashed. Getting ourselves some full cover. Rolling. I don't want to use a grenade here. I think it actually wouldn't be worth it. Oh gosh, he has put himself into a very, very nice cover spot. Hmm, well, I mean, it's obvious we could kill him with a sword, but that would trigger the whole next pack, right? That's not what we what we should do. We need the damage, so there is no time to just stand as a Phantom Ranger. Said, let's try to get the sector. It's most likely going to do a mind spin. That's the worst result. Yep, that's actually the worst result. Hitting him and finishing him would have been a somewhat acceptable result. Leaving position, wasting your next turn and ammunition. That's a bummer. I mean, I was wondering. We definitely want to pull them rather sooner than later. Because we don't have unlimited time. But we can't... We can't really shred their, uh, their armor yet. So next turn would be a much better situation. If this is going to pull them, that's fine as well. Because we can move back into cover. Almost everyone is in full cover. Overwatch. Position confirmed. And another Overwatch. Reload. And Overwatch. Alright, come on. Good job. Very good. Very solid overwatch. Let's please not add. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
So our main target is definitely going to be the mech. Okay, come on. I'd like to take a step back and actually hit the mech as well. Unfortunately, we're unfortunately the mech is well armored. hit him. Let's Locked take the away. opportunity to reload and just kill this guy. Might as well kill the mech. The Very nice. Yes, we're definitely going to pull another one. Oh, no, we're not. Wow. Ooh, wow. So far, so good. This here is going to trigger. Well, that's not bad. We needed to advance anyways. And that's a very easy pack. Shouldn't use a grenade here. Okay. Fifty percent chance to hit this guy. Not even close. Just out of curiosity, like that would hit him as well. Moving further to the front. Come on, let's hit him. So we moved up quite well. Actually also the last fight was good. We need to hurry up because this tier doesn't last very long.
I think by standing here we should be able to see That's affirmative. the target. Objective sighted. But we also triggered the pack. We need to attack the target. Like unless unless we do have a good alternative strategy. Roger this that. is it. We definitely need to attack the target. So if we flop a grenade in here. I wouldn't mind doing that because it deals damage to the target as well. The other alternative is hitting all of this. I'm not sure why we can't hit the Viper. That here looks like a perfect grenade. Get ready for a surprise. Great. That worked like a charm. don't have a good angle on any of those. We could charge in, but by positioning ourselves here, that's going to be a poison spit then. Moving up. That's a protocol. Our frontliner, Ramirez. We definitely need to take a shot at the target. Unfortunately, minimum damage hair trigger. No. Overwatching. All right, come on. Nice. Good shot. Well done. To kill the zombie, uh, the sector to kill the zombie. And we also need to kill that other si uh, sector. But first things first. We actually need to really kill the target. Psy zombie, viper, sector, psy zombie. We could use a flashbang to get rid of one of them. We can't move her, so might as well take a shot. Um. This here has a stock, right? Yeah, right. Okay. It also deals a lot of damage, so we might want to... So we either can end the life of the snake, which is easy, we just move up, basically stock attack her, and that's done. This is a bit di more difficult because we're not going to be able to kill it in one shot. Uh -huh. 
Let's try to hit the Viper, because this hero, she can't really do anything else. It's a no-brainer. Good. That's one piece off of the field. Next up, we need to make sure that we definitely finish the actual mission. Okay? Highest damage is the heavy MG. Uh, MG. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. With confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Now this here is way easier. Could be something on this one. Enemy down. That's why I was saving the melee units for last. There is a chance that we're actually going to kill it with a one shot. Here we go. Oh, it is melee vulnerable. 50 50. Actually moving in. You watching? And we're killing the zombie. It's a secure way to make sure that the zombie dies. Flashbang. It's just helping us out. You have my trust. So he's probably taking a shot at the sniper. Taking heavy damage. I figured. So our prime sniper is going to go to the hospital yet again. But everything else would have been too risky. If the zombie would have survived, it could have killed one of our uh, operators. This world is ours. You will learn to fear us. Whew. Close call, guys. Very close call. Twenty years of peace and prosperity will not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with the elders. Trust in their wisdom, and we shall overcome this crisis. Very nice. Impressive work, Commander. The and we got two promotions. That's even better. Commander, each of our soldiers is rated based on their So we got the corporate promotion, which allows us to parry right away. XCOM has a couple of extra uh, AP and wow, she's gifted, which is the highest intelligence score. Really like it. Amplify is supreme and oh wow. Please look at that. Blade Storm on a Templar. <laughs> oh my god, I just saved your run, buddy. If you don't let this guy die, and if I don't let her die, She's going to be a machine. Well, this is going to be absurd. Bladestorm is... And a gifted ranger. Bladestorm. O-M-G. So, we are taking revival protocol and not haywire protocol. Although haywire is interesting to uh, actually shut down enemies as a crowd control option. We are fighting against stun lancers and believe me, revival protocol unless you have extra points to spare and get haywire. 21 days. Well, hello. Considering the limited resources and we got a specialist. You, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. And there we go. That's our new specialist. Look at her. Beautiful. 
She smiles. She's happy. She's certainly dressed in the wrong colors, but that's okay. I mean, she has just joined us. She doesn't know the drill yet. Let's take one of the new helmets. When the elders are truly banished from the earth, we will be the masters. One that doesn't look stupid on her. Yep, I like it. I think she needs a different loadout though. This here looks much more believable. Good old old world assault rifle. I like it. Let's promote her. Going with medical protocol again. We're going with revival protocol. So she's the equivalent of our other um, specialist. And she's also gifted. Buddy, don't fuck this up. I mean, I'm giving you all of the nice little gifted um, characters. When I'm returning the safe game to him, I hope that he's actually pulling this off and beating legendary Iron Man. So we're not digging for more intel, not yet. Let's actually get the supplies. Because soon the research for the weapon will, uh, weapons will be done and I don't know how much uh, that will cost. It's more than 130, that's for sure. Got some more al alien alloys, some more supplies, that's good. And we would want to go with the training center next. Our current power systems to the limit. I know. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. We can continue to excavate. So training center is done in 12 days. That'll be helpful. And if we're really, really lucky, uh, the dark event um, major breakthrough will happen now. And then right afterwards our sabotage will happen where we are going to remove one or two bleeps. These chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, Commander, and are spreading terror throughout the resistance as they go. We'll need okay, to I'm going to, to let this run down. They are still preparing the major breakthrough. Imminent dark events. Oh god. Now we're going to let this run uh, through. It's two days. I'm, I'm confident with letting that chop off. They've already got multiple facilities operating across the globe. We're running out of time. Let's continue to make contact. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Attempting to establish local... This will prove to be an important step forward. Hello there, Tygen. I love it. Commander, with the Advent Officer currently in cold storage, we should perform the autopsy as soon as possible. So, we basically got all of the mag, mag weapons. Got an inspired resistance radio, which we need next. So, before we continue with Gauss weapons, let's continue with what uh, will help us to fight off the um, Advent Project. And if we can upgrade weapons, we do have 180 supplies. Oh shit. Well, 
I mean, we're using the shotgun, right? So that's one. We're using that. We are using the pistol. The magnetic rifle so far. Yeah, we would be using that as well, but it just costs a lot. We have an enough alloys, so let's take the cheap weapons first. And whenever we have enough for the rest, specifically magnetic rifle, we shall do that. I've been digging through some of the old data files Central has been holding onto since before the war. We are victorious and the Nice, look at that. We just removed two from the Avatar project. Unless there is a, the major avatar breakthrough next, we should be okay for now. So we're not recruiting reapers. I mean, it, it would be nice to have them, but here's the deal. We, we need to actually get some help onto the characters. Um, And I'm looking at the passive, at the passive awards as well. So we do have two seven days um, missions for plus one health, which isn't the worst. I'm thinking about whom to take for that. Maybe we're going to take our Templar, but that means we can't level him. That's an issue. We could use Shifter, the newly gained specialist. I think that's a good idea. We can take her. She could use an extra health. We pair, pair her up with Mox. Get some intel. Add the scientist there. No one's going to be wounded. And those guys just move through the covered ops. That's okay. My followers will lead this action to victory. We got this promotion here. She is Shredder, that's good. Suppression, that's also good. Heavy Ordnance could help us here, um, just to get an extra grenade. Auto targeting isn't bad either. The plus 15 um, really helps out. Actually, both is fine. I think we're going with Heavy Ordnance because when we take her onto a mission, uh, the extra one grenade means yeah, other. Um, other uh, characters can focus onto something other than bringing grenades with them. Or am I going for holo targeting? No, let's go for heavy ordnance. I think that's okay. Heavy ordnance, and then we're going to go for salvo as well. So she's just mainly focusing on uh, reducing cover. Got a lieutenant here. Out of curiosity, guerrilla tactic school. I think we need a captain, right? Requires captain, yeah. One more rank, and then we could get six people onto a mission. Fortunately, none of uh, the covered ops missions gave a promotion, otherwise, I would have probably taken it. So we're barely hanging on by a thread. If you look at the dark events, and well. Maybe there is no dark event. Maybe we just made it. It wouldn't be wor uh, the worst thing that happens. The major breakthrough apparently happened during full avatar project. So we're fine. This is an issue though, because uh, we would be losing the access to 
our only facility, so we definitely need to stop that. Setting course for sector 13, South Africa. And that's what going to, uh, what's going to happen next turn, uh, next mission, guys. I thank you for uh, for watching it. Uh, please leave your comment and your thoughts about the um, uh, disaster campaign recovery idea and how you like it so far. I would like to get a bit of feedback. Thank you so much for watching and have a great evening. Bye bye.